What up, what up, and welcome to uh, the Priestly Family Studio, where we're about to get ready to do a Priestly Family Review for the new Rise of Gru, which is coming out on Friday, July 1st. That being said, there's a mysterious box on my bed. Check this out. What could it be? I am ready to talk about the minions now. All right, it's your boy Priestley, and welcome to Mix 1065, where we're gonna go to the movies. This world is mine for the taking. Make me king as we move toward a new world order. This puny little child thinks he can be a villain. I am pretty despicable. I love him. You better look. Mini boss, I love it. It's Priestly time for round two of the Priestly family review. Yesterday, I had my nephew, who's six years old, Landon, and my brother, my boy's uncle, who I've got now, Jack and Parker, who were also with us for the premiere. Parker, thoughts? I thought it was a really good family movie, but in my opinion, this is not really my like type of movies. It was really good, but I would say try to watch Stranger Things before you see this. We can see where Parker's priorities lie. Granted, hashtag 13-year-old. Now, this is Rise of Gru, and we're going to hear from a 14, almost 15-year-old Jack Thoughts. I mean, I agree with Parker, but this wasn't an adult thing. So, like, you know, it, it was made for kids. So, for a kid's movie, it was actually really good. It was fun, funny. I mean, had its action moments, too, for a kid's movie. And it was overall really enjoyable. So, I would say definitely go watch it with your family. It's worth it. Lightyear versus Minions Rise of Gru for a family experience, probably a little lighthearted, a little bit more funny and silly. You're going to get that out of Minions. Lightyear's a good movie, but it kind of takes itself a little seriously at times. But uh, overall, I definitely loved it. I thought this was a fun movie. And for the adults going, it's a period piece, takes place in the 70s. I mean, what did you think of the music? Uh, the music was amazing. Jack? I thought the movie was good. I mean, it had the same Despicable Me cover, but covered by kids. I didn't even notice oh, that. I y'all didn't hear it. It was the best part. I agree. That was really cool. Steve Carell crushes it as Gru. And the thing is, they kind of like... Do you think he made his voice sound younger, or was that done digitally? I don't know. I didn't even realize like that was Steve Carell. Yes. He was, too, he was so young. He's so, the OG I Gru. Mean, and he plays the young Gru. So, Parks, overall, see it in theaters or stream it when it uh, gets available for streaming? I would say see it in theaters. Nice. Jack? If you want to go with your family, if you have a younger kid, see it in theaters. Plus, I was going to say not to interrupt you, but on the big screen, I thought it looked cool. There were times where the minions almost looked like they were claymation and like physically yeah, it real. Was really good graphics. Definitely. July 1st in theaters. Check it out.